In this video, I'm going over the new Stage Manager feature on the iPad Pro. You may have heard a lot about Stage Manager, and honestly, it's not as bad as many people think. I guess you could say it sets the stage, if you will, for a new multitasking experience on the iPad. So in this video, I'll be going over what exactly Stage Manager is, how you can use it, and also how you can make it useful on your iPad. So let's go ahead, roll the intro, and jump in. As I said in the intro, I'll be separating this video into three different parts. What Stage Manager is, how you can use it, and how you can make it useful. I first wanna just explain what Stage Manager is because some people seem to be a bit confused as to what it can do. In my own words, Stage Manager is an optional multitasking mode for the iPad Pro that can put your apps into different resizable windows. So what does this mean? Well, the behavior on the iPad that most people are used to is whenever you open an application, it's gonna fill the entire screen like this. However, when you have Stage Manager turned on, it's gonna behave a little bit more like a Mac and it's gonna put your applications into these windows. Now you can resize these windows however you want and you can even have overlapping windows in one view. So now that you know exactly what this feature is, let's dive a bit deeper and I'll show you exactly how you can use it. First things first is how you can turn on Stage Manager in the first place. As you saw in that previous clip, I was able to turn it on right from Control Center and this is what the toggle looks like. You can also turn it on right from settings as well. So if I go into settings and then tap on home screen and multitasking, you can turn on Stage Manager right from here. It's also important to note that Stage Manager is turned off by default. So if you wanna use it, you either have to turn it on from inside of settings or control center. So I'm here on my home screen and when I have it turned on, you're not gonna notice any difference in UI until you first launch an application. So let's go ahead and launch Safari for example. You can see that when we're in Stage Manager and we launch an application, the UI is completely different. So the application no longer takes up the entire display. It's in more of a window view. We have our dock at the bottom and we also have an app switcher on the left hand side. So these applications are always gonna be changing based on your recent activity and you can tap on them to quickly switch between your applications. And one particular behavior in Stage Manager that I find a little bit strange is how the app opening and switching procedure is. So whenever you open an application in Stage Manager, whether it's from the dock or the sidebar, it's gonna open that application on its own, as you can see here. This is a little bit different than what I would expect coming from the Mac, because on my Mac, every time I launch a new application, it's gonna put the window of that application on top of my previous application. However, here on Stage Manager, every time I open a new application, it's gonna put that window in its own space. And obviously you can still have overlapping windows in Stage Manager, but it's not as easy as tapping on the application that you wanna have a separate window of. Instead, you have to drag the application over top of the existing window. Another thing to note is that the system is going to intelligently adapt based on what windows you have open. So in this case, if I drag Safari over top of YouTube, you can see that the system is going to intelligently intelligently get rid of the sidebar to make room for my two windows. And you can also choose to manually disable some of these on-screen elements as well. So you can turn off the sidebar and also the dock. Inside Control Center, if I press and hold on the toggle, you can see we have the option to turn off the sidebar and also the dock. Doing this is gonna put Stage Manager into a much more immersive view. You still have access to the dock if you swipe up, so you can add applications into this view. So let's take Twitter, for example, I can drag it here. And then let's take one more app like music and I'll drag music. And as you can see here, once I resize music, we have three overlapping windows in a really immersive view. And this is something that we've really never had the option to do on the iPad before. Whichever window is currently active is going to have a little dragger on either the bottom right corner or the bottom left corner. And you can take this and you can resize the window uh, to be any size that you want it to be. If you wanna move around your windows, 
All you have to do is press and hold on the three dots at the top and you can move your window anywhere you want on the screen. And using this three dot menu, you can also choose to take an application full screen to add another window of the same application to completely minimize the window. And you can also close the window right from here. So for example, if I'm in Stage Manager and I just wanna completely get rid of all my windows and take Safari back to being full screen, back to the normal mode, I can close out of music like this and then I can take the grabber at the bottom right corner and I can take Safari full screen. And it's also important to note that when you take an application full screen as you just saw, the system is going to remember that. So even though I have Stage Manager turned on, the next time I open Safari, it's still gonna open in that full screen view. And to get it back into a window view, all I have to do is take the grabber on the bottom right corner and swipe up. The maximum amount of windows you can have open at one time in Stage Manager is four, and this is what that looks like. So I have my music, Twitter, I have my mail, and I also have a window in Safari. So this can be a little bit cramped. However, I do understand the appeal. It is kind of nice having access to four applications all at once on your screen. And also, if you're gonna be filling your entire display with four windows, I'd recommend going into Control Center settings and turning off the dock. That way you're gonna have a lot more room for all of your windows and it's gonna make it a lot more immersive. Another way I really think people are going to love using Stage Manager is having multiple views where each view has different applications open. So you can see here, I'm able to switch between my different views and each view has a different pair of applications. And as I said before, each one of these views can have up to four applications open. So this is going to be very, very powerful for productivity for some people. And also when you have different applications paired up, as you can see here, we can still see them inside of multitasking as well. I now wanna talk about some situations where Stage Manager is actually useful for me. I have two examples I wanna give you. And the first one is an alternative to this view right here, which is split view. So split view has been on the iPad for quite a while and a lot of people enjoy using it. However, each application is kind of small when you're in this view. Stage Manager can offer a pretty good alternative and can give you a lot more screen real estate for one of these applications. So if I turn on Stage Manager with these two applications open, you can see I have the option to have Twitter be almost full screen, which is so much better than the previous example in split view. And I still have access to my music with just one tap on the left hand side. So this is an example where stage manager and windowing is a lot better than split view in my opinion. And finally, the way that stage manager is most useful for me and the way that I use it every single day is having three applications open and running at the same time on my iPad. Before iPadOS 16, we were never able to do this. And this is really, really powerful. You can have three iPhone size applications open and running at the same time on one iPad. And as you can see, all of these applications are open and running at the same time, and there is zero lag on my iPad. So as I just said, this is pretty much like having three iPhones at the exact same time. I can be inside of music and I can pick a song. I can also browse Twitter at the same time. And while doing all of that, I can also browse on the Apple Store inside of Safari. So this really is like nothing we've ever seen before and it really does open up a whole new world of multitasking for the iPad. Stage Manager is supported on iPad Pro models after 2018 and in this video I was using the 2018 11 inch iPad Pro so that is the oldest supported iPad Pro and I haven't had any issues with performance or bugs. So let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. And if you have a supported iPad Pro, let me know your thoughts on this and tell me if you plan on using Stage Manager. With all that said, my name is Michael. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.